this stupid shark club for an hour. I told you what to do to get us in. For the last time, I'm not flashing my boobs like that white girl. <laughs> Anything for you, Mike. You think that you can help me and my friends get into the club? I guess I can do that. Oh, we're all together, bro. Hold up. I got a brilliant idea. I'll be right back. Girl, we're about to be kicking it with DMX and the big ballers. Come on. How come we're getting in all of a sudden? Because I told him I was with you. Scary Spice. But couldn't you have made me an A-list celebrity? Nobody's even seen her in years. Exactly. Time to get your British on. Hello. Hello, Lou. <laughs> Through this journey of discovery. Through this journey of discovery. Finding you, I'm finding me. Finding you, I'm finding me. Now that I have someone special who brings out the joy. Brings out the joy. Is that you? Yes! Yes! And who would you be, Ducky? <laughs> Don't remember me, huh? Oh, well, it's been ages. When's the last time we met up? Divorce court. How was your first husband, Miles? Miles, right. That was during me foggy spell. <laughs> the other bloke I sent all those alimony checks to. The one with the mole on your naughty bits, eh? <laughs> The very same. <laughs> Had it removed. Careful, look, see. No, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I'm not Scary Spice. My name is Mona Thorne. I'm not English. I don't even like English muffins. <laughs> Me, Miles Weston. And uh, I don't even know what naughty bits are. Although I do have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got carried away. It's the scary in me. <laughs> Please, don't apologize. It was, it was fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> so, uh, you here with anybody? No. No, I'm not. Are you? I am now. <laughs> Boy, then. <laughs> Come on, dog. Show me some of those roughneck Casanova moves, man. Can't teach your cat dog tricks, man. You either got it or you don't, bro. <sighs> you ain't got it. Come on, X. Teach me to exude, man. You're not gonna stop bothering me until I tell you something, huh? Nope. That's why you're by yourself now. All right, check it out. See, go for right there with the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ignore her. Huh? Yeah, you gotta ignore her. See, she's gonna want somebody that she thinks she can't have. Oh. Ah. Oh. So All right. Hey, you wanna dance? <laughs> I said, do you wanna dance? <laughs> Fine. So, how'd I do? You were supposed to ignore her until she came over. <laughs> but I exuded, right? Yeah, you exuded stupidity, man. <laughs> I'm done. And don't follow me. Ooh, sweet pea, 
is that you at this hour? With a man. <laughs> a cute man. <laughs> Wait, of course you have a <laughs> Miles, meet my father's wife and my half-sister. Big Dee Dee and Dee Dee. A pleasure. Mona's told me all about you. Well, not all, but some. But the sum was really good. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> so what brings you by at this hour? Marital strife. Your father stayed out late, so I'm teaching him a lesson by staying out later. Love is a battlefield, girls. <laughs> make yourself at home. I'll just go make some coffee. Hey, I see you're reading Cornell West. Oh, I was, but it's a little preachy. Now I'm reading the new John Grisham. It's got murders and sex. <laughs> John Grisham, huh? You know he tried to keep Denzel out that movie. <laughs> Must have missed that. And I'm um, out of coffee. How about tap water or sunny delight? <laughs> I'm not sure it's in either, so I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Wanna listen to some music? That's a good idea. I just picked up the new Avril Lavigne CD. I'm not sure it's in that either, so I'm gonna pass on that, too. <laughs> Why don't we just check out BET, see what Ed Gordon's talking about. Oh, sorry, my cable's out. Oh, but I have the first season of Dawson's Creek on DVD. <laughs> that's, that's okay, I gotta get up early. I should be going. Sorry about the coffee and the music. I see I'm making a great impression here. You made a great impression the minute I laid eyes on you. I'll call you in the morning. Okay. <laughs> oh. So, you've been seeing this Miles guy for almost two weeks. That's right. And not only does he always pick me up on time, he pays with a credit card that hasn't been confiscated and cut up once. <laughs> Nice, but does he have a job? Can you call him at home? Is that his mama's car he's driving? <laughs> he's a sports writer, a homeowner, and he pays for his mother's car. Ooh, we like that. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey! <laughs> My, aren't you good looking? And you brought flowers. Now that is good home training. I'll pass a compliment on to my mom. Miles, are you hungry? I just made chicken satay with peanut sauce. Oh, no thanks. I'm boycotting peanuts till Georgia gets rid of their Confederate state flag. Oh. Well, how do you feel about Wisconsin? They're cool. Good. Cheese? <laughs> hey, so glad I caught you. Hello, Phyllis. Hello, Dee Dee. Uh, Miles, this is Dee Dee and her inappropriate cleavage. <laughs> We've all met. Listen, this guy I'm dating has a table for four at the Shark Club. The limo's waiting. You want to come? I'm game. Do you mind, Ma? Oh, no. You young people, go, go. Have a good time. Yeah. Oh. Don't you leave Miles alone with Dee Dee and her cleavage, or she'll try to steal him just like her mama tried to steal your daddy. There I was. Ma! <laughs> that story isn't true, remember? Hey, just because it's a lie doesn't mean we can't learn from it. <laughs> Your sister's got some serious moves. So, uh, you gonna show me what you got? Maybe later. <laughs> I don't really like this song. Okay, but uh, in the meantime, do you think Dee Dee would mind if I cut in? Oh, you know, suddenly the song's starting to grow on me. <laughs> some kind of fit. I'm not sure, but I think that's how she dances. <laughs> so, are we still on for the movies tomorrow night? I'm not sure about that, Mona. Okay, this time I promise not to smuggle crab legs in my purse. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that. Um... Listen, I, I really enjoyed spending time with you. 
I mean, you're, you're quirky, you're, you're funny. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I just don't think we're very compatible. Well, what do you mean? We're, we're just very different. You know, we see issues kind of uh, different. You know, we have, we have likes and dislikes that are very um, different. <laughs> well, wait a second. Isn't that what makes a relationship interesting? I mean, you don't want to date yourself, do you? <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I, I just prefer to be with someone who is a little more, um, how should I say this? Um, black. Are you sure that's how you wanted to say that? Look, I'm just into sisters, that's all. Well, I'm a sister. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a sister with an ER, and I'm looking for a sister with an A-H. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's like a chitlin, not a chitterling. A what? My point exactly. I just want to be with someone who has a little more flavor, a little more soul. I'm, I'm sorry, Mona. It's um, it's, it's just not gonna work out. I can't believe Miles broke up with you. Just tell me exactly how you screwed it up so I can tell you how to fix it. Mom, you said I don't have enough soul. Like, I'm not black enough. Can you believe that guy's chutzpah? No, I cannot. Hasn't he noticed you have my behind? We are plenty black. Well, apparently Miles likes his sisters a little more ethnic. Please, you're African-American and Jewish. The only way you could be more ethnic is if you played the bagpipes. <laughs> I wonder if seeing you dance pushed him over the edge. So I'm rhythmically challenged. This is all your fault, Ma. <laughs> Don't blame me. Blame your grandma, Sophie. My mother is the sweetest little Jewish woman. Makes a kugel to die for. <laughs> but at family reunions, boy, does she stink up the soul train line. Forget Miles, Mona. You can do better. There are plenty of guys out there. This is San Francisco. I am more likely to be struck by lightning while cashing a winning lottery ticket that made a decent straight man. Well, lightning has to hit somebody. I'm just so tired of being alone. Ain't nothing wrong with being alone. Condoleezza Rice is alone. Diana Ross is alone. I mean, sure, she's got a lot of hair, but when she take it off, that heifer's alone. Somehow that doesn't make me feel better. Look, Mona, just because you have mixed heritage does not make you some watered-down black person. I raised you to be proud of all that you are, so don't you let some man make you doubt who that is. So you lose him. You can still have a full life. You can always get yourself some cats and join a book club like me. <laughs> I'm damn happy. The scary thing is, she really thinks that. <laughs> My God. God, what if I end up like my mother, alone and angry? I don't want to be alone. I want a man to be angry at. <laughs> I've always embraced my uniqueness, but men don't. So maybe it's time to let it go. Do you really want to compromise who you are just to get a guy? But Miles isn't just any guy. I mean, if you were really into someone who's a vegetarian, you might give up those nasty pork rinds you like so much. <laughs> so if Miles wants me to be funky, ethnic, and bootylicious, then hey, that's what I'm going to be. Mm. I hope you know what you're doing. No, I do not. That's why I need your help. <laughs> OK, I can help with the funky and the ethnic, but I think the bootylicious is a little ambitious. <laughs> Wow, it is amazing what you did with that table runner. <laughs> okay, now, swing your hips with me. That's right. Now release your hips and swing your arms a little bit. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, there isn't a bee loose. <laughs> now, keep it low and tight. Low and tight. Hello, hello. Aren't we a little early for Kwanzaa? <laughs> Mom, I'm teaching Mona a few dance steps to impress Max. Well, I was quite the dancer before I got married and Dee Dee gave me hips. <laughs> Mom, she wants to dance in a club, not a production of Cats. Step aside. Mama's got this. This little move got Dee Dee conceived. 
This little move got me out of $1,000 worth of speeding tickets. <laughs> and this little move I have yet to use. I'm saving it for something big. Are you going to teach me how to do that? <laughs> no, I was just showing off. <laughs> You're going to do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, there's Miles. Do I look okay? Look gorgeous. Like a Nubian disco queen. <laughs> and remember, if you lose the beat, just follow my lead. Okay. What's up? Boom. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> Well, you know, it's just the like to change things up. I hope you're not too upset with me. I just thought it was best to be upfront with you. Hey, you have your preferences and you were honest. I like that in a strong black brother. <laughs> <laughs> so what you say? Want to shake what our mama gave us? Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> Why? You afraid I might turn you out? <laughs> That's why during these very troubled times, I believe we owe it to ourselves to connect on a higher spiritual plane. So you want to take a shot? Spencer, I need to dance next to Mona so I can keep her on the beat. Come on. Sorry, girl. Spencer's in demand. Hey, hey, hey. Let me kind of rock there, baby. I didn't realize you had this side to you. Well, strong sisters, us, are very complex. So, uh, you heard what a brother was looking for. Can you show me that? I'm a very good listener. Seven, eight. <laughs> and bounce with me, bounce with me, bounce with me. I think I could have been wrong about you. Why don't I go get us a drink? Going great. Miles is loving my new black attitude. <laughs> well, I think he looked a little silly. But well, honey, if the Erica Badu rag gets you much needed loving, I think I'm gonna get one for myself. Bounce with bounce with See, Dee Dee, I was right. Making a few changes was worth it. Well, I don't know, Mona. Watching you on the dance floor, it just looked like you were trying so hard. Because I am. The talking and the counting thing is kicking my ass. <laughs> Mona, if he were the right person, you wouldn't have to go through all these changes. Well, that's the difference between me and you. You have the luxury of being yourself, but I don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to dress with a man who likes me, for who I'm trying to be. <laughs> so, Mona. I am really digging your look. Thanks. But it's not all that different. Just a little more colorful. <laughs> well, it's different enough. Good. Wait. Different enough? What does that mean? Well, I just think all the changes you made are more in touch with who we are. Who we are. Or who you are. What does that mean? Miles. You have no idea who I am. I mean, and why would you? I've been trying so hard to be a sister for you. And I'm not even acting like myself, which is really your loss. Because I am a strong black woman. And if you can't see that, then maybe you need to examine your own issues. Because you, Malcolm X, boyfriend, are not the arbiter of blackness. Wow. You make a good point. We're not all the same. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said what I said. Damn, Skippy. <laughs> and if setting you straight means that I'm going to be a lonely cat lady who reads a lot of books, well then bring on the Friskies, baby. <laughs> Mona Thorne, you are one of a kind. And I'm feeling that. You should. I'm sure you'll make some crazy white boy very happy. <laughs>
you have to embrace who you are so that somebody else can. From now on, if a man wants Mona Thorne, he will have to take me the way I am. Excuse me. But aren't you Scary Spice? Why, well, yes! Yes, I am! <laughs> and this is me mate, Jennifer, with a G. Hello, love. Have a seat. Barkeep! Give me some lemon, come on now. <laughs> 